Hmm. All right, we should be good to go. Sweet. All right, for any body that come across this video on Twitch, welcome. Hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, how do you start this uh, stream off? Oh, the stream may be short, maybe long. Really, just depends on how much I want to entertain this whole thing. Uh, but one topic that I want to talk to after like reviewing and like listening to myself talk on the previous video, which was e, eh, it was definitely man, I probably could do better and whatnot. Maybe I actually should focus on editing and whatnot to make it a little more quote unquote prettier. Uh, but one thing that came up for me, um, that I thought about was like because of how long I've been playing fighting games, it's like what is the fighting game for me like what do i love particular about fighting games because i mean we have so many fucking mechanics and, and things to do like some of them are similar and completely different you know um one thing that um i haven't seen personally but maybe it's in a obscure or niche fighting game out in japan like 20 fucking years ago whatever is like having a, a character or characters having um two fighting styles that could be switched mid like mid combo like for example say you get a character that has a, a scythe right but the mechanic is you know wherever is a, is, is, is a one button thing or like an input whatever uh they can do it mid, uh, mid combo they can switch it to having it like um i don't know the actual uh, term for uh, the actual like weapon itself but it basically splits into a chain like you still have the the, the scythe part but it more along takes it apart and you just have the pole and the scythe and you know you can use it like if you were playing um axel in guilty gear so you have the full extended scythe and then you have what axel will have in guilty gear you can you can kind of you know go back and forth with those those different styles of fighting like i would love to have that in a game like I would love to put that in there and then you can add you know stuff in here where it's like you know you can cancel Roman cancel or focus was it uh focus FADC or whatever you know term they use but basically canceling a a normal special so you can extend your pressure or your combo like I love that in a game and the previous game that I, sh I streamed was uh chaos code which I what I saw it shit probably 2017 26 I forgot what uh when the game released but I saw it on a Japanese screen I liked the aesthetics it looked like you know anime king of fighters but more anime and then of course I actually you know played it more the previous time and I was like okay maybe this is not my thing it seems restricted and like I said I haven't really watched videos of it or, or know the whole mechanics but just playing it a little bit from the time I got a sense of it's you know it's restricted in some ways but still fun for people but not not exactly where I want to be now this game right here this is a game that uh, a good friend of mine me and her went to Momocon uh, was it I want to say it was last year maybe a year before last uh, we saw him playing the arcades out there and it and had a cabin or two of this game and you know it's very fucking anime I mean look at it look at it guys it's it's you know you know, if you're younger, you live with your parents, whatever, you probably don't want to be playing this shit in your room with the door open. You know, you don't want your, <laughs> you don't want your mom and dad to walk in or walk past the door like, son, what are you doing? You don't want that. But mechanic wise, you know, past the aesthetics and, and, and the, the clothing, whatever, it's a pretty fun fucking game. I mean, you have pretty much what I would like in a fighting game. And this is what I want to present in this, uh, in this video, in this stream is this game. Uh, million was it million Arthur Arcana Blood Arcana Blood? I probably butcher that name very severely, but um, it's a very fun mechanic which they give you three cards. Um, and these three cards are your three assists. Now, with the assist comes these crystal points. So, depending on how strong your, your assist is or your assist card, uh, it goes range from one uh, to three. So you pick three uh, assist cards, and it can be an attack, which uh, this one right here. This is a nice one because it uh, it freezes. Let me put them none. 
it freezes so you can extend the combo if I yeah you can extend a combo whatever do a little nice little air combo hard knockdown and mix time uh, and then you have your support which I don't know what this is maybe you get I should probably remove let me see let me take the health down a little bit we'll do 50 we'll just do normal yeah we'll just do that all right cool so restart oh god damn it okay come on there we go so yeah I don't I, I don't know what it does but you know it supports so maybe it does healing maybe it does it doesn't look like it does any um uh, Garning any meter, but oh wait, actually it does. It does heal. Let me see. Nope, it didn't heal. Oh, it did. Okay, so it does. Okay, so it heals over time. Which, eh, actually, you know what? I probably won't be using that assist because I'm like, I want to do damage. I want to do setups. I want to do mix-ups. I want to like make you guess, you know, on block and what the fuck I'm gonna do. So I'll probably get rid of that one. Um. But yeah, it pretty much does uh, those a few things, and it's pretty awesome. Like I, I enjoyed it because you can kind of tailor made your play style, and that's a big thing for me is that I want unrestricted freedom on how I do my play style. Because um, once again, to, to reiterate, I, I've been playing fighting games for a very long time, and I've kind of gone through different characters or play styles. Like I've played characters that are that are full on rush now, or aka just hands, Akoski. Uh, um, Slayer like they are all about hands they're in your face they're rushing you down and you gotta you gotta block this mix and it might be sitting there for a go goddamn you know five minutes just just holding this shit just holding block but then I also have characters I played where they dominate not necessarily in you know close range well close range but then also they sell at mid range they can they can throw fireballs they can you know kind of make make you you know you have to sit there and wait you have to be patient whatever and i'm like i'll play to you play to my tune i like those type of characters whatever i will give example um i would say black adam which honestly black adam you know he plays close range too but he got a few things that he can do as far as mid-range and close range so it's pretty much excels to that um i play characters that are um that are flat, like in my opinion flat or broken that's been long range and it had Excel with closer and rough. Um, what's what's her name? Power Power Cell Power Cell. She she's I don't know, I'm probably uh, mispronouncing her name, but uh, this is a character that I played at the time. A Melty Blood type Luma. Um, she has long range normals. Her 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 close range normals are really really solid. I mean she works very well with rebeat uh, uh, block strings. And I mean fuck I think at the time of me like kind of like still playing it uh, in Japan she was considered if not top three or top, at least top five, like she was up there. Like you would definitely uh, be playing uh, her in top eight or something, or you'd be playing, you'd be seeing that character in grand finals. Like she was a very, very, very strong character, but also very technical. It took a lot of uh, muscle memories, take a lot of like in the labs, you know, doing your block strings, whatever, making sure, you know, you, you, you had a setup for like, hey, people shields a lot, or hey, people... Uh, like to wake up super or something like that. You had to kind of like figure out how to play against those type of uh, tactics. And but yeah, other than that, she was very strong. Like so yeah, for me personally, I've kind of played the range with characters. And with this with this game, you know, I can play a character that's in my opinion this one right here, uh, Eternal Flame, Void Eternal Flame. She's definitely close range, whatever. You know, she's in your face. She can do stuff. But hey, I can you know do something here. Wait, hold on. Let me see. Actually, let me see. Ah, oh, she said, see what I said. She said, I am so sorry. Wait, why did she say I'm so sorry? You're the one getting hit. Jesus Christ. Also, I am learning Japanese, too. So, that's another cool thing. Uh, No more dubs, guys. No more fucking dubs. All subs. Uh, Let's see. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, Izzy. Oh, Izzy. Okay, cool. So, we're going to block. We're going to do always. Oh, give me one second. Okay, we're still good. Yeah, so this this is stream is definitely gonna be scuffed, in my opinion. <clears throat> but yeah, so so she can do something like this. 
Oh, maybe not. Oh, I don't have meter. I am so. So you see, I even play fighting games a long time. So yeah, I'm definitely fucking rusty. This is a goddamn shame. Goddamn shame. Look, look what have I become. <laughs> so yeah, you could just do some silly stuff like that with her, and that's not even you're not even counting for using assists as well. So you know you can extend something. See if I can actually do it. Nope. There we go. You know. Oh, that's yeah. That's her. That's her. This bad boy. So her. What is it? No. Yeah. So just like, and this is the thing too that I like too. That's been kind of like pushed. Uh, in my opinion, ever since uh, Dragon Fighter Z is where you have like, and actually no, I don't know. It's either Dra it's I don't know the the time, I don't know the years wh where game got released, but either it's between uh, Dragon Fighter Z or um, was it Blaze Blue? Was it Cross? Was it Blaze Blue Cross? God, I forgot. It was the it was the um, the crossover between different um, Arc System uh, Arc System Work games. But he had Blaze Blue something. Oh, cross tag. Sorry, Blaze Blue cross tag. Blaze Blue cross tag, or or Dragon Fighter, uh, Dragon Fighter, um, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, where you know you had you can do multiple lights and it would be different. And a lot of times when you do these, you know, strings and stuff like light, 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 like three lights, they will have a ender that's kind of like that where it'll be multiple hits, kind of like letting you set the tone, kind of like give you a breather and like okay, well I have enough time to kind of like you know set up my next string or what i'm gonna do next and i like that a lot so that's just something that this character specifically not all characters i don't, I don't believe um d does that but that's also an element that i saw in those previous uh, games that's brought here and i'm like yes i want more of that i i like the fact that you have these auto combos because you know yeah you do your little one string normal whatever it's not but with anime fighters i feel like you know, you want to have this oppressive offense. You know, also because this oppress oppressive offense, you need a uh, really, really good defense, or just basically just sit there and hold block. Because as I learned when I played Street Fighter Four back in the day, uh, sometimes you just block. You know, people get frustrated because they ain't like you can do in Street Fighter Four. You you block all your shit, and somebody's gonna throw you or attempt to throw you, and then you tech cross checking. It's 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 you know, and it's, it's funny enough to when I say that because. Um, there was a, at the time, there was like, kind of like back and forth where people were talking about, you know, this game's like very damaging offense, whatever, but it became at the higher level more defensive because the, the defensive tech was, was a huge part, you know, cause I mean, what the fuck are you going to do? There's not a lot you can do. You can maybe do an overhead. That's, you know, what fucking 15 frame startup or something is very slow. Like you can catch people because of how li not limited, but how Less you do it, but most of the time that you're doing like minuscule damage, it's like oh you you did me an overhead, okay I'm gonna stand up. No, I'm probably gonna tech because you're gonna try to throw me a neck uh, next time because you know such and such. So the game is very defensive, and with anime fighters, I'm trying to get my thoughts on that part. But with anime fighters, you know, defensive mechanics and being defensive is a huge part because you can just do a lot of wild shit to opponent. And of course, there's like a whole meme or just a whole thing about people not really blocking in anime fighters, which is true uh, to this day. I mean, I, I, I played Guilty Gear Shroud. I'm not Guilty Gear Shroud. I played Guilty Gear x -Shirt. I played, you know, Melty Blood Type Luma. I played, oh God, what other other anime fighters? Uh, I played, oh, 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 Eunice, uh, you know, Under Night End Birth. Like I played a lot of those fight, uh, anime fighters where I'm like, yeah, you can do these extended ass block streams and in lower levels or in rank or in just in online play. A lot of people just don't block. That includes me too. I I I to a fault. I will never not never block, but I will rarely block because I'm like, oh, let me try to do this awesome tech whatever, and ultimately, you know, because I ain't I ain't got it like that. Still, ain't got it like that. Uh, I will fuck up that quote unquote tech, and I'll get hit. You know, my my face was the was the punching bag so to speak um so so yeah you know having games like that is is pretty awesome i almost lose my, my train of thought on that one but uh yeah this is the type of game um that for me personally i love um so you know i don't know how online is i don't know if this game is dead this game is probably dead like i don't know like at this time i only been playing with my roommates we played it like for a week or two 
she probably not even a fucking two weeks. Probably just like for a couple of days. Uh, we were playing for a bit. It was pretty awesome. Uh, I liked it a lot. But yeah, um, I like these type of games. These these are my my go to at this point or at the at the age I am when it comes to fighting games. I don't I don't really, you know, Street Fighter Six. You know, it was cool. Um, I think my roommate he was definitely heavy in my first few months, and he hasn't touched it since. It's kind of a thing, honestly. You know, no 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 shade towards him or anything like that. But you know, you play fighting games. Um, I would call kind of me and him uh, at this point hardcore casuals um you know we'll buy a game we'll play it for a few months and then we'll just fucking drop it for something else you know it is what it is we don't like i said I, like i said earlier I, I ain't i ain't got it and i don't think he got it either it's just it's just what it is it is what it is mm. but yeah uh let's see if i got any more thoughts but but yeah anyway i'm probably just gonna not talk too much and just practice some of her block screens and just show off uh, some things uh, about her. Like I said, this is, I haven't played, yeah, I haven't really explored any other character except her. And just like I said before, her play style and just how she is, uh, I like it a lot. Don't know if she actually like suck as far as a tier list, but I am enjoying it. So anyway, let's see what she got. So we got, let's see, block. Okay, so. So as far as block screen goes for her, um, I always want to do, there's no rebeats. Yeah, there's no rebeats. So you're doing one, two, three, you know, that's all you're doing. So it's, it's light, medium, heavy. And well, actually, I think, matter of fact, let's just go in the button configuration. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we got weak attack, medium attack, strong attack, and the elemental blade was like, they're you know not command normals but it's like hey this is the stuff they use for the character like their weapon or whatever um makes them different than the others so she has like you know fire and well two fire blue fire and red fire and allows her to do some crazy stuff so this is one of her tools for not necessarily joni but you know if you do yeah if you roman cancel or just cancel that that normal um she can you know extend it more and it's so cool too like yeah like <laughs> i just like that so that's another good thing too is to set it up so you can do something like that let's see wait is it okay no So you can't do medium after that. Okay. That's interesting. So yeah, lights, uh, it's the only thing that that's auto combos. So you can just mash light. Maybe I should actually put the um, display on so you can see it. So you just do that. So I'm just mashing, I'm just mashing A and it does all this rock shit, but just doing no three lights together you get the multiple kicks um can go straight into her heavy or strong um but like i said for 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 her character and for what i like the most is the fact that a lot of her uh normals are multiple hitting so her crouching heavy or crouching strong is multiple hitting um then also her the elemental blade her crouching i guess d i guess it's called um, it's multiple hitting so yeah you can kind of get a little bit of what I'm going with this character it's like I want to extend my strings as much as possible and to you know go for a strike through mix up she doesn't as far as I know she doesn't have an overhead um, <clears throat> she has like this ridiculous like when I was playing with my roommates like my, my good friends uh, slash roommates is like don't press buttons don't press buttons if if I put this out, like don't ever like you you if visually like you ain't even gotta be a person that plays fighting game, but just visually look at that shit. Look how fucking far that motherfucker is. Do you want to get hit by that? You you're die you'll die like it's over. Like kiss your kiss your ass goodbye. It's over. Um, <clears throat> so that's another good thing about her is that she has this strike throw. You know like um, once you set that up with your opponent, then you can kind of throw this out. And you'll get you no know, hefty damage, uh, real big damage off that. I don't have the combos for that, obviously, but from what I the videos I have seen with this game, 
yes, it's like don't don't press don't press buttons. Just let her just let the person do the little things, little shenanigans, whatever, and then you know you you you'll be free. Cause like I said she's very limited. Um, so that kind of brings up her weakness is that she kind of needs you know kind of zoning tools, um, which you know this is I mean this is. So when you say zoning tools, <laughs> you know, this ain't really a zoning tool. It's more of an extension for combos, but it is a projectile nonetheless. Um, and and honestly, I'll probably tailor made the uh, the assist card a little bit more to her weakness, um, you know, so that all, every everything can be covered. But yeah, I would use this as kind of. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna yeah, I'm here. I might as well switch it and just get this shit out of the way. Uh, oh, I can. Okay, cool. Oh wow, this is oh, damn, this is crazy. What was he about to set to? So I still have that, which we I need. Okay, there we go. So yeah, that's you know that's a cool little you know projectile whatever. Does it not go that far? Oh no. Ah, eh, still projectile. Okay, so yeah, so. So yeah, so I was, so this is this is actually set to is probably more preferable. Uh, probably I'm using this more than anything. Um, let me see about the other ones. Let's see, set three. Oh, I don't want to use her. That's not a good. This one is that just a fucking orb in there? Ah, I don't think I'll be using that. But you know, oh my god, really? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Immediate act out of it. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe set two would probably be more preferable. But that's an interesting little orb here and there. Um, but yeah, so just kind of using these to, um, you know, do away with her weakness or, you know, make sure her weakness is covered, essentially, uh, by having some, you know, some zoning tools. Let's see. I see. I see. Actual. Yeah, it's a little. You can also do that. Okay. So for me, and I, I, I feel like for a lot of people that were to play this or see this, also, yeah, instant death is pretty nice. Is to, you know, either in your string. If you're going, if you got the meter to, to do elemental boots, is to in it that, um, or just you know do whatever into. It just give you some distance, you know. Yeah, I would say probably that was more preferable because it puts you to back. Um, you know, it's for me. It's all about safe uh safety. So if I'm playing against a carry that can just out zone me, then yeah, I'm in fucking trouble, obviously. Uh, but more than anything, I want to be safe. So I tailor made my the tailor made the card assist um, to be all about safety. We have a projectile, so you know, I can I can zone a little bit if I need to. <clears throat> it's not very, it's no, it's not the best. It's, it's a little limited, so to speak. But you know it still works. Um, but yeah, actually, we'll just play the bot and see how that works. Should I even? Maybe I should like learn a combo or two before I even get into the CPU. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, no. 
Oh, okay. Well. Okay. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, that's not quick enough. Oh. Oh god. Maybe that won't work. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm really trash at this right now. Okay, what else is a fucking what? Okay, what about? Yeah, also, <laughs> that's what happens when you get hit with that. Jesus Christ. It is devastating. Does anything combos into the D into D? No. Yeah, that works. Okay, so nothing works in that. So that's just a big button for a frame trap. So that's your frame trap button. If you think if you think motherfuckers gonna be like trying to press buttons or like I'm gonna take a throw and you're like nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Okay, oh, uh, okay, so it's gotta be a, okay, so that doesn't work if it's a airborne character, okay, well, fair enough, fair enough, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll switch up the combo a little bit, if I can do it, oh, oh, that's interesting, what's that be, first hit after first hit, we'll just do that. Actually, I can't do this for the life of me. Oh my, wait. Okay, I can't do that, okay. Okay, that's in. Can you jump? Can't no. Also, the fact that you know jump canceling is always a nice thing. Okay. That's not. I'm so mad. That's not jump cancelable. Oh, still, okay. Okay, yeah, that was the one that jump cancelable. Yeah, 
Yeah, also they all have antivirus too. That's interesting. Oh. Hmm. I'm discovering stuff. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Come on, dude. Give me that. There we go. That was cute. That was real fucking cute. Uh, how can we put that together, though? Also, I've learned be through Melty Blood Tape Mama is to never, never use, never reuse, or never use the same sh uh, normal in a combo. So, whatever the first like hits or the first part of your combo stream, you know, you can't use it as a as an ender. You gotta, you know, do some other stuff. So, I wonder if they're the same way, because we've tried to do it at least in Melty Blood Tape Mama. The the damage scale is is fucking atrocious. Like, you you you're, what is it? You're you're losing, you know, hundred, two hundred, you know, a, a points of damage if you decide to reuse a normal in, in the combo you you started off with. So yeah, don't, yeah. So it's really bad. But let me see if this this game has the same uh system in place, because the ender is pretty much this. But I want to use that as the launcher when I do the the freeze. So this is yeah. So it's gonna be this, right? But it doesn't work, God. So I have to do it. Mm, well, <clears throat> hold on. Nope. That is an airborne. God damn it. Ah, oh, fuck it. Yeah. I kind of have to. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Okay, well... Oh, that's definitely not. I mean, that works. Holy shit. Uh, that was cool. And then do. Do. Oh my god. Murder me. Oh, come on. Give me that. Okay. Yeah, I mean I was alright. I feel like I'm doing better. Wait, does she have aerial combo? Oh, you can do Oh really? Wait, 
why can't I double jump? Can I not double jump? <laughs> what is happening? How can I not? Am I stupid? Yeah, I can. What the hell? Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't double jump? You can't jump cancel? Oh, okay. I'm learning something new every fucking night. Interesting. Okay, cool. Well, I'll fucking be. All right, I'll be right back. Hold on. Get some popcorn. Alright, now you get to hear the loud sounds of me crunching on some popcorn. Or smacking on some popcorn. Depends on how you take it. Alright, so. I learned that. You can only jump cancel while you're in elemental boost. Or, it's better to say that on your lights, I'm assuming your lights, but your lights and mediums can only be jump cancel, but not too heavy or strong. Which is fascinating. Very, very fascinating. between these two characters they look like they do a lot of drugs do a lot of fucking drugs god damn also she's she's on a fucking vacuum she's on a vacuum what the hell what is this game why did I put why do I play fighting games man or what should I say why do I play these type of fighting games I am a degenerate that's why that's fucking why I am a sad boy degenerate Okay, let's, so, since I can't do that, so I have to do, wait, I can still, okay, so, let's see. Oh, uh, whoa, that doesn't do. Wait, can I? Oh, wait, wait, wait.
I'm trying to instant airbag. Come on, instant airbag dash. Come on, come on. We, I can, I can. Okay, I can't do it. I'm, I'm trying. Um. <laughs> okay, I can't do shit off that, but that's still that's that's funny. I'm learning, boys and girls. I don't know what I did that for. <laughs> okay, that's cool. I can't do it. I can't do it no more. What's wrong with me? Is there not a super in the air? She don't have a super in the air? Okay. How would I do an air? I mean, uh, I guess it's grounded, so that's going to be fun. Also, I think this game is more pad friendly than Chaos Code, in my opinion. This just feels, I mean, even though I'm, I'm fucking up here, I feel like I can get stuff out much easier compared to a uh, Chaos Code. But, you know, who should say? I could be an outlier, outliner, or, yeah. So what, what did I want to do next? What I got for this character? Okay, so we got grounded supers. We got no air supers. So, but we got air as card assist, which is cool. I would, I would never in my in my million fucking years if I ever play the game to use that in the air. I don't. What purpose does that serve? Unless I just want to be an asshole, be like you can't use the air, like I'm some little fifth grader. Playing in the sand or something outside for recess. I could be I could be that much of an asshole if I want to really do that. But who's gonna fall for that? Who's gonna walk into this this bad boy? All right. Anyway, um, nope. Who? Nope. 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 What is wrong with me? Oh my god. Of course, I use that one. <clears throat> oh yeah, I just I just do that. Wait, how much damage I'm losing? Alright, 355 if I, if I use 
light, medium, jump, cancel, light, no, 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 light, medium, jump, cancel, medium, heavy, then, then special, but if I just do uh, light, medium, into heavy, special, it's probably going to be less. 350, yes, I mean, I mean, I'm, I mean, come on, 350, 85 versus 3555? Is it 3555? If I can do it. 85 and then. Oh, 3533. Yeah, I don't know. I just gotta practice better, I guess. It is, it is technically easier. If I take my time, there we go. I just can't get the assist uh, out, whatever. Oh, <gasps> okay. I had an epiphany. If I get it, <laughs> can I do the super, please? Wait, is it going to work? It does. Oh, she. Oh, she. Hey, that's decent. I like that. That's pretty, you know, ain't gonna kill, but that's flashy as fuck. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, is that only two supers? Uh, can I see? Command list. Okay, yeah, yeah, command list, D, yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, right, I, I totally forgot about her fucking specials and stuff. Wait, can you? Yeah. Uh, but you can't. You can't do. Okay, you can't use specials during uh, her. <coughs> okay, yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah. As you can see, this is why I like this character. Cause goddamn. On paper, or just just on lab, it looks looks god, god tier. Um, yeah, DP, whatever. Oh, she has her command now. Is that a com I mean a commander? <laughs> she does have a commander. Wait, can you actually cancel it? Oh, and you can. Yeah, that's funny. All right. Alright, so cool. Like I said before, she can definitely find ways to open you the fuck up. It's beautiful. Is that my phone? Oh, it was my phone. Uh, Fabian, okay, Fabian, cool. Damn. You're, wait, thing. Oh, okay. <coughs> okay, so she, okay, she has a DP super. Interesting. I wouldn't even use that like that, but okay. I mean, yeah, I was gonna say, I would say, I think as far as like her play style and stuff, I think I got her pretty in a pretty good place. Um, so yeah, that's that's about it. <laughs> uh, as far as the you know, streaming goes, just show a little bit of what she is.
my thoughts about this game and just my thoughts about you know fighting games in general or or the at least the fighting games that I I would enjoy um, if there were out there. But yeah, I, as you can see, this this stream is a little little bit longer than the uh, Chaos Code one. Um, that first one, shit, I don't fucking know. That was just a a, a thing, uh, so to speak. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. If I feel like I want to explore another fighting game, I'll probably make another another video or stream another quick video of it and just talk about it. But yeah, that's about it. Peace. It's been real.